It's a Dremel, but you do a, you make a lot more mess. The easiest thing to do is just take a look at the frog spawn. First, you want to take it off so you don't hurt the heads. Get them to retract. Make them retract. That way, the uh, pressure of just being hanging free in the air doesn't harm them. Because they'll tear. You can actually see some of the stuff they're poking through. Um, take them and cut them. You'll always see a spot at the base of the tissue where the live tissue ends and the skeleton, you know, intrude begins. Now, you, you'll also see little heads growing out from that area, but you don't have to really worry about damaging them. They'll, they'll grow back fairly quickly. But you just want to cut about a quarter inch to a half inch below that. I usually score it to give me a good line to work across. Pop it loose. Wow. Free. You want it, uh, you want it mounted? Um, would you like it mounted? Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. So, Free now, coral? now that you have said cut coral, Take a plug. I always try to find one that's got a, con a shape that conforms kind of to the bottom of whatever I've just cut. Uh, frog spawn, hammer, all the euphelias, they've got that very hollow honeycomb type skeleton. So you're not going to get a really clean straight cut unless you do it with a Dremel or with a tape with a saw. Um, the easiest thing to do is pick something that's got a little bit of a pocket like that guy does so that the base will actually sit down in it. I use super glue a little more sparingly than most people do, but I figure I've done this the gel site? Yes, I always use the gel unless it's um, like fragging for health. Um, a propera, sometimes you'll see them go into recession, either rapid or slow recession. And really the best thing to do for them at that point is to frag them. And then you use the regular super glue because a lot of times it's a bacterial or viral type infection. And by using the regular super glue, you can run it around the seam of the live tissue and smother the bacteria. That way, your coral will grow right back over the super glue, perfectly healthy, as though nothing bad had ever happened to them. Uh, the other thing, once you glue them, I try to leave them in the air for only a couple of seconds because the super glue actually hardens and cures faster underwater. Yeah. And it's an exothermic reaction, so as it cures, it gets hot. If you ever gotten it stuck to yourself, if your fingertips get warm, <laughs> well, when you're a little squishy too, you know, when you got two cell layers thick, that's a lot of burn on you. So uh, I usually try to put them in the water as soon as possible.